Hello guys, this is Boomer here, welcome back to another video, and today this is going to be our second last episode of Infinity SMP Season 2. So now, some information is that we might rename the name of the SP, just know that it'll still be Infinity, it'll still be the members of Infinity at least, although it will be named something else other than Infinity. So, that is on the agenda for Season 3, um, no worries, I'll still call it in like brackets infinity so that you guys know also season three starting and when 1.18 comes out which is on november 30th or around that time first bacon and i still need to finish our seasons so yeah that shouldn't be that big of an issue also this season next season we're gonna be a lot more organized as this season was killed mainly from a lack of organization we've kind of all agreed on that on the infinity discord server and yeah stay tuned for season three i'm hyped as well because i have not started new survivor world in like many many months but yeah the last episode will be reserved for some other things but this episode we're gonna mainly be finishing up some projects tidying things up and yeah so the first thing that i want to do is Basically go down the in, to the industrial district and I want to connect the farms down there up to the storage system over here Originally I was gonna have some sort of fancy item sorter although I don't really want to do that now It's just gonna take too much time. So what I'm just gonna do is just dump all the chests in one certain area Now how I'm gonna do this is first off as you can see the items kind of drop off around this area so yeah, that area of chests is over there. That's right next to Bedrock though, which is quite concerning. Although they're nearly perpendicular. So what I can do is um, bring this hopper like here, insert them to a dropper of some sort. I have to move all of that manually, sadly. Put them in sul shulker boxes and pack them up. But yeah, bring that to a dropper, dispense into a bubble vader, which should go all the way up there somewhere. Transport it on top to some place where inside of those boundaries and then and then transport them back up into the storage system so if you kept track of what i said great you're gonna know what i'm doing but yeah if you didn't that's fine it's basically simple i have a bubble vader going up here all the way up there now this all goes all the way up to there i quit out the villagers off camera if you're wondering, that'll actually come in handy later this episode, but you can see how it gets pumped up here, goes there, through there. That should be for the gunpowder, string, sugarcane, and bamboo. And with the honey blocks from our honey farm, or, or the bottles, excuse me, I'm sending them to this dropper right here. And what this will do is it'll curve over there, that dropper will add on to it before it goes up and then to the storage system. So I've been keeping an eye on this for a long time, and I've only seen gunpowder. Well, not a long time, but I've only seen gunpowder popping out of it. So, I wonder. Um, that zombie needs to die, but I'm gonna ignore that for now. What's happening to the string? And the shirt cane and bamboo. String first, let's see. Okay, I need to pack this stuff away. Oh, it's- oh, I think some of it's still dropped in this chest. Okay. Yeah, I need to move that chest. And that's probably the case with the bamboo as well. So, alright, yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that, I'm doing that, okay. Alright, I've got this water stream going all the way across here. Items will get stuck on hoppers on that last section, but that's fine. You can see over here I used that little honey block trick to win the items inside of there. It goes through the beacon in the first row. And yeah, on the other side is this, um, there's a dropper coming from this, the honey farm, which leads, which, right there, which will drop honey bottles up here. Now, I am going to need to fix this, because I broke it on, accidentally while I was building it, building this item stream, but yeah. I really wanted to put a comparator clock here, although it looks like... I'm going to have to um, use uh, an observer clock, or maybe if I do that, 
I do not know if this will... Okay, no, that will interfere with the redstone over there. Hmm. Okay, I think I've got to figure it out. I just decided to use repeaters underneath here. Oh, God. It's so hard to look underneath there, but yeah. So now if I just connect... Ah. Uh... Okay, this is not a clock since the redstone cannot... Okay, yeah, I need to use um, an absorber clock. That sucks. But, oh god, no. That sucks. Oh my god. Why am I making such a mess? Alright, patch that up. And, you see how... What I mean as my um, bee farm broke multiple times? Yeah. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, no. Oh my god. It's loud. I really did not want to do that. Although, do I have any other choice? Let me break that. No, I don't. You know what? Now that since everything's cleared, I, I'm just going to leave that thing broken because it breaks so many times. Or it broke so many times. And I'm not risking my eardrums for that. <laughs> At least I guess I got some of the honey bottles inside of those chests. If you're wondering, I'm very used to making extremely loud contraptions and having an extremely unbearable base. So yeah, that's why I dismantled that observer clock. Because, yeah, I didn't want it to make my storage system extremely loud. Now the pump is working and all, but I'm only getting bamboo and, and gunpowder. I actually just got some more gunpowder and bamboo. And I, I'm going to try to fix that a tiny bit later, but... First off, I want to just do a nice little perk to this thing. And that is by making it so that every time an item comes, it makes a nice noise. So, I have not used node blocks a lot. So, in theory, if I place this down. Yeah, it should release very quickly. So now, in theory, if that's the case, items should come over it extremely quickly. And... Yeah, it should have a little tune. Now, this sign right here, I'm going to replace with the pressure plate. Or the pressure plate. Alright, so now I got the note block down and the, all that sort of stuff. A tiny redstone wire connecting the two. Did I just see an item go past and not trigger? I might need an, a repeater there. Oh, <laughs> alright, you know what, that's an extremely simple fix, I, yep, I think I just heard it go off, yes, yes, now I know when, whenever there's, um, an item goes through it, this is gonna make a ding, I do not use note blocks very often, you know, so it's nice to get to use them every once in a while. And also, I decided to make it two notes rather than one. Alright, after many times of fiddling, I think I finally got it to work. So, if we wait a bit, an item should go by. Just, you see? Yep. Bum bum. It works. That little ding. Um, I don't think that will tick me off at all. Um, it might though. So now I've created a mess in the process. Oh no, 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 there's a creeper right there. Get out of here, please. Thank you. That was close. He was like hiding in this area. Oh, I thought that clock was another creeper for a second. Oh. And yeah, now one last thing. I want to have like a snoozer lever so like whenever I do not want to listen to the dinging I can just turn it off if you know what I mean and that's very simple I all I have to do is put a target block there <laughs> all right it's ready now all I had to do was to place one redstone dust right here and now what should happen when I flick on the lever is that all the redstone should be lit up. So it would just sleep 
snooze, make it set. There's no sound. Let's try. Did that do anything is my question. Let's find out. Okay, go down here. Yeah. Now there shouldn't be no noise. Oh, it looked like it wasn't working. I don't know if I turned off the lever or what. Okay. I think I might have an idea. Yeah, no, no, it's three, so it won't work, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I've got my snooze button. And if I flick it on and off. You hear that tune? Now you hear the jingling. And if I go again. Oh, did it not trigger? Maybe I need an observer for it to trigger. Or maybe I have a different tune. You know what? Yeah. Okay, I added an observer in there, so now it should trigger both when it comes on and off. I just decided to do it that way, the simple way. It works! So now if we silence it, we do this. And it gets silenced. And if we go off, just turn that off. And if it goes on, you do hear that extra E, so you'll know that it's silenced. So yeah. Uh, and also, what's going to be really satisfying about this part is something completely else okay i have black no i need gray dye not black dye <laughs> there it is i can finally fill in this hole right here oh man how much better does it look oh yeah that looks better for sure <laughs> uh yeah i'm going to go afk a bit and I'll see you guys a bit later. It's an hour later and I still hear dinging, so let's go in here. Let's check after an hour of AFKing from, for what we've got here. Whoa! We did get some sugar cane, very few, but still some. <laughs> Although, yeah, this, the amount of stuff we got is no joke, especially the bamboo. I'm getting way too much bamboo, by the way. I think my I need help. <laughs> why is why do I have so much bamboo? Gosh darn it. Anyways, now that I have that going on, I can finally stock rockets. <laughs> Let's go over to shopping district then. All right, they're in stock and they are one diamond for three stacks. And while we're out here, let's check profits. Okay, now. We did not get an elytra sale. Anything here? I have not checked profits in a while. Okay, got a shulker box sale. They kind of have been, they've been a good sell when it comes to like the long run. How about any of these? Oh, God. what happened? Nope, nope. I still need to fix that one blaze rod. <laughs> All right, there was nothing else in there. Let's check this shop, the wool shop. I did not have any wool. I need to restock that as well. And last but not last but not least, <laughs> revenge is a dash dish best served at wits. <laughs> All right, I've got to fix this, but I just find it kind of find it kind of funny how he did that. Oh, he even bought some bamboo. I did not actually expect that. Oh, and some scaffolding. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know he ended his season, so that diamond's gonna- Or sorry, she, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so- I know she ended her season just a moment- Or like a couple days ago, so I know she's not gonna check that diamond out. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave it in there anyways, because why not? But yeah, I guess that's the last 11 diamonds. I'm not going to be checking my shops anymore any, any other times this season. And I just heard some phantoms. The server's definitely slowing down as we approach the end. I just want to say I much prefer this head over this head. <laughs> what even is going on with this head? I cannot even tell you. Anyways, oh, am I electron short? I think I might be actually. That's not good. Although what I was gonna say is I'm going to finally finish this village area. 
we're finally gonna get this area done. Now that area is going to be like our town hall, along with it being a library, so yeah, that's at least my, or what I'm thinking I'm doing. So since this is the last building, we need the same cow color palette as the rest, so some quartz bricks. I do not have enough quartz stairs, which is quite concerning. Is there any quartz in here? No. Um, alright, hopefully I don't have to use that much quartz, although for the stones and andesite. Let's get building. And along with that, we need some bone blocks. I have very few at the moment, although I do have some bones. And also some bookshelves. Alright, the, these, these bookshelves are like the most ridiculously expensive thing ever, so yeah. Let me try to find something around here. Also, if you saw a villager inside of the um inside of the farm area, I I did move the villagers up up top off camera, although one glitched underneath the um area, so it fell into my industrial district and now it's trapped there. I, there was no way for me to get it out. So yeah. And the worst part of it is that was my mending villager. Oh, I forgot I didn't have a Fletcher. And... I'm kind of screwed at the moment, to be honest. Uh, well, actually, I think I have some emeralds still in my villager trade box. Let me grab those out. Wait, why is there nothing in my under chest? Um, hello? I'm gonna reconnect. My Wi-Fi might have just crashed at that moment. <laughs> yeah, I think it did. <laughs> oh my gosh. 32 emeralds with all the stuff I've traded. Okay, that should be more than enough. But, first, I need to trade some bread. I'm gonna do that guy first. I think it's that much? Keep that them breeding. Could be wrong. They probably already have some food, so that... Shouldn't be a big issue. Oh, I need more beds. Hold on. Almost lost my villager trade box. That would have been bad. Actually, nowhere near as bad as me losing my valuables box. Oh my gosh. I almost completely forgot about that. That was painful. Now, I should only get one baby in theory because the four librarians have their own target. The fourth... So, now three of them have been hanging around each other. Though ever since I placed this fourth workstation, that like, that fourth librarian has been kind of wandering around separately because he doesn't have any workstation to go to, so he's basically in a different house at the moment. I have no idea what happened to fourth one, although there are so many houses. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a puzzle in order to try to find the fourth one. Although in theory, I have unbreaking three left, I have silk touch and sharpness. That should be good. That should do it for me. Now these suckers do not have any interest, any interest in breeding despite me giving them two stacks of bread. I don't know what's up with them. I may need to wait for night. And just as I say that, they're all rallying up next to the bell. It would be really nice once I get that all kitted out. Or not kitted out, but like that room so decorated. Or decorated and all. Yeah, that'll be cool. I ran down here thinking that there was the hole still. <laughs> oh man, I need to get used to that. I'm glad I moved out of this area because now it looks horrendous. Like in all caps. Horrendous. Like, can I even go through here? I had to use a rocket. <laughs> Look at this mess. Yeah, I'm so glad I don't have to live with that anymore. I guess while we're at it, I can start working on the room, like the outside of the room, you know? While I was at it, though, I decided to clean up the torch spam of this room. I didn't even realize how much, how many torches I spammed in this room until I started cleaning up other rooms. Yeah, this looks a lot better now since there are not as many torches, but rather more end rods. I came back and there was a baby villager in that bed. That's perfect. Alright, what villager's in that bed? Farmer. Okay, that's not good. 
because there was a switcheroo somewhere. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get the farmer back into that bed. I think um the librarian and the Fletcher I can deal with a bit later. I was able to organize it with the Fletcher as well, or the baby villager. That is perfect. Now I need to go to bed right here and break this bed right after I go to sleep. Like I said, I do not want to mess around with um, having like having more than one villager because I don't know how long it was ago. I think it was probably a few episodes, a few episodes ago, or no, it was a bit longer. It was like six episodes ago. Although I killed a crap ton of villagers inside of the downstairs because there are just too many. Wow, this feels really cavernous in my opinion. You know, I'm thinking on adding like sea lanterns right there there and there but still yeah i just used a cure deal to get more bookshelves i know that goes against everything i say but i don't care <laughs> also i feel like bookshelves are a bit overpriced so yeah i'll just place the bell right there as well it's the next day and this room is done and dusted now, the thing which took me the longest by far was these bookshelves all around here. And yeah, just, there, was, there was so much grinding to do. It was painful, but I finally got it done. Now, I think right before we end all the projects for our seasons, I want to do one more thing, and that's to get my tools, weapons, and armor all maxed out in netherite. So now, I also want them like fully repaired, so what I'm gonna do first is go bed blasting. Well, actually, TNT blasting. This is my first time using TNT ever when mining ancient debris, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. I just wanna point out that I do not use this exit very much. Oh, it's right here, oh my gosh. Yeah, that that's evidence right there. Although I wanna go on the opposite side of this um, Salt Delta because this is the opposite direction of Lazy Bacon's base and he has been doing a lot of um, ancient debris mining lately so yeah. Alright this looks good. Now I want to avoid lava lakes so maybe what's that direction? West? Yeah I think west could work. Ah crap I should have brought shulker boxes that's fine. That's fine. I have flint and steel after all, I can just burn everything I don't want. Although, pretty sure I do is I just dig in a straight line, like this, and then I do TNT, like, I think it's TNT, two blocks, and then another TNT like that. Alright, here goes nothing, let's light this up then, I'm also gonna do that. All right. Okay, that did not go as expected. Oh yeah, we got a chain reaction of six revealed two ancient, or no, three ancient debris, I cannot count. But yeah, that was a good sign. I'm probably gonna do every other now. From now on, oh. All right, I need to go like that. And light it up like that. Three ancient debris, not too bad, not too bad. Um. I'm going to try every other um, block at TNT this time rather than every three. So hopefully that should work. Oops. That was a mistake, although I guess I'll pretend that never happened and just continue going on like that. I'll, I'll just put my friend steel right there. Let's go! <clears throat> oh wow. Look at that. Oh, it's amazing. It's so amazing. Look at how big of a... Look at how big of an area cleared out. Wow. Oh, no ancient debris, though. What the heck? I just ran into someone else's mine. Most likely Lazy Bacon's. Oh, well, that's weird, though, because his... His base is north of here. Well, yet again, he mined a crap ton of ancient debris, so I wouldn't be surprised at all if it was his. 
Let's go! <clears throat> oh. Alright, didn't go completely through. Oh man, none again. What is my luck today? <laughs> right, I'm gonna place a block underneath there and then continue because I think that'll be the best option. So yeah, let's do that. Alright, we finally found some ancient debris. Let's collect this. And now I think I might do bacon strategy that I did like and make multiple shafts. Like can see there because it'll uncover some area which would have otherwise missed when mining ancient debris. I just ran some into some ancient debris while making a shaft. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's grab that. I guess if there's any more, the TNT will reveal it. Look at how much ancient debris, ancient debris this session has covered or re revealed. One, two, three, four over there. I think I even saw some. Going this way, on this side, no, maybe not. Although still, that's a lot of ancient debris. And I got 14 ancient debris, which in theory should just be enough to get my all my tools netherite. And now I need to just find the exit. Well, that's not good. Do I have any backup elytras? Um, <clears throat> hold on a moment. Um, I'm just going to go into End Emporium and just grab an elytra and ro some rockets and that sort of stuff. I think I died out of sight of spawn chunks. I think. Which is, yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> Although, oh crap, okay, yeah, I'm going back to my stuff. I got extremely worried for a second, not gonna lie, but it's all good, I found my stuff. And yeah, now we can escape. Alright, go do that, that, and that. Alright, now we're full netherite. And now all I need to do is one more thing until we end the season. Well, kind of partially end the season. And what that is, is we're going to be mending our tools. Now, why I'm doing this is just to, for the last episode, just to look, you know, big and strong. Well, not big and strong, but to look clean, like I had a good ending, all my tools are repaired, and you know, that sort of stuff. It's all aesthetic, and it comes together very well -y. And I also cannot speak English today. <laughs> Alright, I've got the tools I need to mend in my hand. Wait. Alright, I'm gonna put that. Now oh, yeah, that should be easy, that axe. And I'm just gonna quickly mend these. Note this sword is not diamond because it is barely enchanted at all. Um I used it just to get XP from the enemy grinder. And it works. Very well, in fact. Like, look at that. I've got very enough XP to mend that pickaxe, which is only to mend the most. Now it should all be straightforward. I just mend the shovel. And then the hoe, then the shears. I put off my armor for very little time, and oh my god, I'm going so slowly. Oh. That, oh my gosh, why did it feel like I was going so slow? And I don't know that Death Starter was that amazing. Holy crap. Wait, how much does this cost? 15. All right. I'm probably going to get another anvil and bring it over there. I got these books from Lazy Bacon. I think I he think he needed some stone. So wait. Oh, no, that's right. I need to wait here. But I think he needed some stone. So I get it. So I got him some stone and I... Got three books in return of any sort. So I got two Thorns books and a Sharpness one to add on to my axe. Now that I think about it, if I continue being the road engineer in season three, I'm not going to need to worry as much about sharper curves and that sort of stuff because the elytra is getting nerfed. 
or at least the speed it is going i'm just getting nerfed by a huge amount so yeah i don't have to worry about it anymore like i said and also i think the ice bow way might be used a bit more and i just realized i was going to go to the end portal but i was talking so much that i didn't even realize that and i was going all the way to lazy bacon space all right let's get back there <laughs> eight rockets wasted for what cause nothing I have not used a piglin bartering machine in so long. I don't even know if this thing still works. Okay, I think it's this middle one that you can put the gold. I'll keep four blocks. I'm, if you cannot tell, I'm running really low on gold. And that wasn't even the case until just recently. <laughs> right, yeah, let's put that back. All right. Now in theory, we should be getting some items soon. OMG! Wow, I was lucky. I got that really quickly. Holy crow. Alright, I'm gonna just reorganize some of these. Like that. And I think I should be good. Alright, and now what we have left. Just left to do is take off my gear and put it in here. And that was an unintentional rhyme. I'm sorry. And right here is the stuff in my ender chest which is not um sorted into any shulker box and that leaves one thing i have to get all of these out and just drop them right here there we go so in case there's a world download which i hope there is um rymont might come up with um find a way to get one but yeah if there is you can see my stuff and you can explore the, se the season 2 as well. But this is my last real episode of Infinity. Next episode, the, or the actual last one, what we'll be doing is taking a tour around Infinity as we'll be looking at some moments, some of our best moments from the season which seemed to be forever and look at other people's bases as well along as with the shopping district just give an overall tour on what everyone progress everyone's done and yeah that's gonna be our plan so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to leave a like subscribe my channel and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace out